Girl Night Live. In tonight's video, you're going to watch us go through BioSwift tutorial. And um, if you haven't used BioSwift before and you have any questions, make sure you ask us because we're here to help. So how's everybody today? Anybody um, used BioSwift before? Let's just blow it up here. Yay. Um, wait, are you on Facebook? Or I'm on the Facebook one, okay. yeah. Oh, you are on the Facebook one? No, I think you're on Instagram. Oh, oh wow, Facebook changes to look like Instagram. Oh. Okay. Hi, guys. Welcome. Hi. So, um, in case you're watching this video right now, this is our live tutorial, as you know. So, if you stay tuned through the whole hour, at the very end, we're going to have a special giveaway. Um, we are doing this live tutorial both on Facebook and uh, Instagram at the same time. So, if you hear us read comments from Facebook or Instagram, don't get confused. We just wanted to make sure everybody can be engaged since some people don't have Instagram or some people don't have Facebook. But uh, if you're watching this on YouTube, it means that this is a pre-recorded live video, so unfortunately you won't be able to enter the giveaway, but make sure you follow us so you can stay tuned for our future Neil Night Lives. Okay, um, then we'll ladies, talk we'll just raise our voices. Talk a little loud. Yeah. The room that we're in is kind of big, so it could be echoey too, so yeah. we do apologize for that. But can you hear us better? I think now I'm at a level 10. I was like a level <laughs> yeah. 6 before. We sound good. We just need to be louder. Antonia from Facebook, can you hear us better now? Everybody on Instagram okay? Thumbs up? Okay, perfect ladies good, and gentlemen, if we have any here. <laughs> yeah. um, so what we're going to show you tonight is our BioSwift product. So what BioSwift is, it's a way to do gel extensions without the use of forms or tips or glue. Um, Diana, if you don't mind, you can open the package to show everybody okay, what comes yeah, in for it. Sure. So what you get in this package is you get 140 individual um, nail tips. It comes in... Uh, how many sizes? It have? comes in 14 different Four, sizes. Yeah, 14 different sizes and 10 of each. And then also you'll get a builder gel, which comes in this beautiful container. <laughs> if you guys could see, I know it's kind of far, but... I know, it's so shiny and pretty. I know, it's so shiny, and it also comes with a sculpting brush. Yay! Inside the kit, so... Pretty cool. Yeah, so it's a complete cool. starter kit with the um, only product missing is a lamp. So um, you do need a UV lamp in order to do BioSwifts or a combination LED UV. So tonight's video, we're going to be using our U-Light Pro, which is our 48-watt uh, LED UV combination light. So that is what you'll need. But besides that, um, BioSwift, as with all BioCV gel products, are big five free. There's no need for primers or bonders. No heavy sanding or drilling. And um, yeah, you guys will see, we're actually gonna move the camera closer if everything sounds good. You guys are ready to learn. Ready. If you did miss this portion or uh, you know a friend is gonna come in late, just let them know that we will repost this both on, actually on all three, Facebook, Instagram, and YouTube. So in case you missed it, don't worry, you can rewatch. But let's bring the let's camera closer. Okay. Yeah, thank you. We gotta. We don't have any crew crew members right now, it's just us, so <laughs> we've got to move everything closer. Thank you. Okay. Okay, guys. So don't be afraid or shy to ask us questions. We will try our best to answer as much as we can. So if everybody, we're gonna hi everyone. Get closer. Thank you for joining us. Yay! It's been a while since we did a nail night live. Yeah. Actually, shout out to Ashley, Fashion All Star Nails, one of our brand ambassadors. We were chatting and she's like, "Why don't you do them anymore?" And I was like, "Honestly, it's not even that we don't want to. It's just we've been so busy." Yeah. But we're yeah. like, you know what? You make time for things that you know are a priority. So that is why we're doing nail night live tonight. Yeah. Okay, cool guys. Hi, Elle. <laughs> okay, 
So step one is to admire your beautiful BioSwift package. Mm. Yay! So that's what it looks like. I'm gonna get out my tips and my brush and my BioSwift builder. Thank you guys for all the love. Um, custom bling creations from Instagram. What you can do is slide the comments, I believe, to the left or the right. Try one of the other, one of the two, and it will, it will move the comments. But um, Melissa and Diana, try to just focus on the higher portion. Okay. Then people that want to read the comments as well can. Okay. Perfect. Thank you guys. Okay. So um, before we begin, actually, this is a new product that we launched for BioSwift, which is our BioSwift refill. It's a four ounce jar, which if you can tell by my hand size. This is a really large jar, so this will last you a super long time. Um, although this BioSwift gel is amazing on its own, we have upgraded everything that we liked about BioSwift and made it even better for the refill. But don't get me wrong, this guy still works great. But with the refill, what it is, it soaks off even quicker now, and uh, we were able to formulate it so that there's absolutely no heat spikes at all. So that's the difference, but they're both amazing and they both work great, just in case you guys are like, you know, which one should I get? But there you are. Yay. Uh, Nicole asked, what do you use to clean tips once they are used? So we do suggest to sanitize them, of course. Uh, you can wash them with soap and water as well. But the great thing is it is reusable tips. So with, oh, <laughs> don't mix them up like I always do. Um, with each of these tips, they're pretty strong. So through normal wear and tear, you can probably use these quite a bit of times. Like I'm at least until you start noticing that the form is losing its shape. But for the most part, they last a very long time. Okie dokie. So guys, just to go back to the tutorial before I forget. So step one was admire your, your beautiful products. We did that. And then step two is actually to prep. Well, step one, guys, I won't joke around anymore. So it's a real tutorial. <laughs> step one is to prep your nails. So when you're prepping your nails, what you want to do with BioSwift is just shape the nails so of course we have our lovely we actually never named our our hand guys there's a name for oh, her oh man alexis alexis okay <laughs> so alexis nice. here our beautiful model she stays so still she always keeps her hand relaxed thank you alexis <laughs> we're gonna go in and just shape the nail to a natural round shape to be honest it's not too crucial what shape you have under you do want to keep it smooth and even so that uh, when it's time to remove bio swift it looks super neat under but honestly just a little touch up is all we need and of course you would want to do your full manicure prior to this so push up the cuticles trim it if you do that and then cleanse with alcohol um, I skipped a step there so shape the nail use a buffer to lightly smooth out the nail bed no need to do any sanding or drilling or primers or bonders in the case of BioSwift you actually don't need base coat either which is really awesome because it's one less step but if you do have a client that has weak nails, you can always go ahead and apply that base coat as an extra uh, kind of strengthening. So, and then the final step of prep, sorry guys. Okay. The final step of prep is to cleanse with alcohol. Yay, 70% or higher is what we recommend. Never cleanse with acetone because our products are soak off removal, including BioSwift. We just want to avoid any sensitivity so cleanse it with alcohol and the prep is done and I'm gonna go through as many fingernails as I can just within our hour so that you guys can watch the steps over and over again but yeah comment below if you have any um, questions we are here to help so we're gonna allow that alcohol to completely dry Antonia says she has one of these hands called dr. mrs. claw <laughs> oh my god <laughs> cute Alexis will give her a middle name later. <laughs> okay, so once you're done with your prep steps and the alcohol is completely dried, you're gonna go ahead and start sizing your tip. So the biggest tip for picking your tip is to always choose a tip that is <laughs> slightly larger than the nail if you only have one that's too small. So let's see, I have size six here. I actually think that fits quite good, but let's just say I picked a five at first, so you guys can all see what I'm talking about. At first glance, 
this looks like it fits not too bad but if you check out the sidewalls it's missing a little bit and you don't want to use this one because if you do you're gonna have to repeat the steps with a larger tip see how you see that extra space right there mm -hmm. even though bird's eye view like straight on it looks good you always need to check left and right okay so that's why I'm moving up to size six and for the tip itself we get a lot of questions like oh which side do I use it and of course um, we will explain that here you see the clear portion the clear portion is um, on average the size of the natural nail bed with no free edge so this is where it will sit on the natural nail this clear portion here and then below you see some lines these lines here are to help you gauge how long you want the extension. So imagine client's nail, like for example, Alexis, we're gonna start from here, like if that, her nail bed is amazing, but we're gonna do it from the edge here. That would be their natural nail, and then the length below these lines will be how long. Sound good? Okay, cool. So once you've sized the tip, you're gonna go ahead and get your BioSwift builder ready. And I know the question you guys all been waiting for, how do I avoid bubbles? So how to avoid bubbles with BioSwift, first and foremost, is the way that you scoop out the builder gel. So you see how your brush comes with the spatula end and the brush end? When you're scooping out the gel, do not use your brush because this will not allow you enough control. You can actually cause bubbles if you like stir it up. So the best thing to do is use your spatula end this lovely guy here and sorry Diana yeah. what you want to do we always say about two beads um, and that's of course depending on the length that you're doing as well so you guys can always add more or take away product if necessary but what you want to do is pretty much my rule of thumb just especially when you're beginning is just try to fill up this nail bed portion here Um, Vegan Nails by Tasha says on Instagram, can you pass a line like the longest? Oh yes, definitely. If you want to go all the way down, by all means you definitely can. Um, but I'm actually not sure why we stopped lines there. Maybe we just thought that that's already <laughs> long. <laughs> but yes guys, yeah. you can go as long as you like. Okay, so watch closely as I show you how to pick up the BioSwift with the least amount of bubbles. You're gonna go in and pretend your spatula is a spoon and scrape up against your jar. When you go like this in a super smooth motion, automatically you already prevent bubbles. So from this portion, you have a, clearly a very generous amount. Don't worry because if you have too much, you can put it back in the jar. So what you're gonna do is with your tip, you're gonna lightly and smoothly see everything I'm doing is very soft because you don't want to go too fast or like break up your motions because if you break up your motions like if I were to drop the gel like this you're gonna cause air bubbles mm -hmm. so you need to make sure you put it in smoothly and kind of like slice kind of like drop it and then from this part you're gonna flip your handy dandy brush to the brush side and you're gonna go ahead and lightly can my brush actually guys if I can stop real quick I'm going to just clean it with some alcohol to make sure that my brush is completely soft because I think it was a little rough there. So let that dry a little. Okay. Sorry, going back to here. So when you're ready, you scoop the builder gel out, our BioSwift builder. You're going to go ahead with your brush and in one direction and one smooth motion too so you don't see me patting and pulling. I'm taking my time and dragging it down to however length I like. And I'm only going one way, so I'm not going down and pushing up like this. Otherwise, again, that will cause bubbles. So the biggest mm -hmm. tip, guys, to avoid bubbles is just slow and steady wins a race. Mm -hmm. Don't rush. There's no need to rush, especially... Exactly. <laughs> so I'm going to go to the longest length for Alexis. And you see down here I have some extra product. Mm -hmm. You can take your brush and smooth it out to whichever shape you like so just for the easiest sake I'm gonna go ahead and do square cuz you know why it makes your hand shaky already so mm. yeah <laughs> I feel like square shape is like the most easiest shape to do so I'm just gonna take my time here and ensure that both left and right is completely 
uh, filled out as well because you don't want to pop off like you don't want to cure the tip and pop it off with uh, losing it out that so just so our YouTube camera can see as well what I did was I took my brush in one direction I just lightly brushed down and made sure everything was even and what you can do too is pick up your tip and look at it left to right and don't worry if it's not completely smooth here because when you do place it on the nail that itself will make it smooth so just take your time here you can even go backwards the other way but whatever way you choose to do complete it completely left to right wow the product is really um thick huh it seems kind of thick but i would uh compare it to like vaseline almost oh okay so it's super easy to work with yeah okay guys Moving yeah. the light a little bit. We're going right? to just, uh, yeah, I'll grab it, Melissa, so you don't have to. Okay. okay, guys, so from here, once you get your BioSwift tip filled out and you're happy with the length that you did and you're sure that you did left to right, you're going to go ahead and carefully place it onto the fingernail. From here, what you want to do is go from the cuticle edge. So, girls, if you can go sideways to show everybody, you don't want to just plop it on flat. If you plop it on flat, what's going to happen is you can cause air bubbles. So you want to start from the cuticle here and slowly like a lever, a lever, a lever, I don't know man, yeah. lever. grade four <laughs> science, you're going to go like this and lightly press down. Okay, so here we go guys, moment of truth. So key point here is don't apply too much pressure because the product itself will fill out. So if you watch me drop it, I went from the cuticle edge and like a lever. Right, like Just, a lever. <laughs> yeah. And then now is your chance to press down in any areas that did have a little bit of, uh, needs a little bit more help to make sure the gel itself is completely flat. And now when you look at the top of the nail, do you see how it's completely smooth and there's no air bubbles? That is how you know that you got it. So yay. yay. And guys, this is my like 197th nail. Um, I've been practicing BioSwift ever since we got it back in the summer of 2017. So don't be discouraged if you have bubbles. If you have bubbles, honestly cure it and you can fill out those bubbles later or by all means take it off and restart. Mm -hmm. And um, before you cure it, you do want to turn the hand upside down. And once you have the hand upside down, you are going to use your brush and just lightly brush out the underside to ensure there's no excess product. And in case you do get a little bit extra, you can go ahead and save that product. So from here, if you're happy with the way it looks, so by I mean happy the way it looks, like there's no bubbles, or even if there are bubbles, guys, it's okay. Practice makes perfect. We're gonna go in and cure for 60 seconds in your LED UV combination or a pure UV lamp. And keep in mind that um, when you are curing, what you want to make sure is the client puts their hand in at an angle. So as you can tell, the tip itself is floating on the nail, right? So if you put it in, you just allow your client to slide their hand in. Honestly, girl or boy, if you spend all that time making it perfect and they accidentally touch the bottom tray, your nail itself will come off. So you need, need, you need to ask them to put their hand in at an angle. And in me, my case here, I actually am hovering the lamp for Alexis. so that it doesn't have the chance to get hit. And the reason why I have the brush in there is because it is a uh, censored lamp so that it can just catch the sensor. So do we have any questions, guys? Does anybody ask anything yet? Glenda says hi. Hello. Hi, Glenda. Antonia from Facebook asks, Okay, will this cure under an LED or does it have to be LED UV or straight UV? It's a really good question. So yeah, it actually will not cure under only LED. The lamp does have to be either combination LED uh, UV or just straight UV as you um, mentioned, Antonia. Yes, so UV, UV, UV. And then um, once you're done curing the top portion, you do need to flip the hand upside down. And the reason why is this form itself is getting popped off. So you need to ensure that every angle of the nail is completely cured. So we're gonna go in for, an, oh, I'm so silly, this works. Mm. I don't even need the brush. So for another 60 seconds, <laughs> we are going to cure the underside of our BioSwift form. Mm, let's see. Glam by Tati from Instagram said, this could be applied to just your regular nail. Be correct without tip. 
So the thing is, you can definitely use it for natural nails if you don't want to build any length, but the BioSwift does require the BioSwift forms in order to cure 100% properly. So by all means, you can use it as an overlay, but you still need the help of the forms. Because the point of the forms is that... Do you have to go a little bit closer, Helen, to the oh, tips? Am I too far? Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Yeah. Thank you. Sorry, I can't see. Thank you, Diana. Uh -huh. So, um... Yeah, so you can definitely use it for natural nails, but you need to use the form. You just don't have to build out the length too long if you don't want. Oh, yeah, you're right. I wasn't even in the lamp. <laughs> yeah, I, I might flip the hand over and just care a little bit more. Awesome. Uh, Q. Be here, be square. I love that. <laughs> Sorry. Cupel um, Artistry asks from Instagram, do you fill the rest of the cuticle in after you pop it off? So you actually want to put the tip as close as you can to the uh, cuticle edge. And if you follow the tip of the, like, going on a, a lever kind of mo motion, you won't get any, like, gel um, flooded into the cuticle. So you have to, just so I can show everybody, once you have the, the product on, what you want to do is go from this angle like this, so very close to the cuticle, and press down. This way, you don't even have to worry about sanding because that's the whole point of BioSwift to make it easier for you guys. But I'm going to flip the camera back, or not the camera, our hand. Hand back. And just in case, because I honestly, you guys, sorry, I, I couldn't see from that angle. Is that in enough, Diana? Yeah, that's good. I am going to cure again just for a few seconds on top because I'm sorry, I don't know if the lamp was even on, like in enough. Hi, Sherry. Okay, guys, I think that's good enough. So, Diana, if you want to come back on this angle, let's take the tip off. So, guys, all that hard work, and I know I'm going super slow. Keep in mind that I'm going slow on purpose because I want you guys to take the chance to uh, learn every step, and we want to cover any tips and tricks for you guys. So keep in mind when you are doing this for real, you probably won't be taking as long as I did. But here we go, guys, all that hard work. You are going to take off the tip now when you cure the top and the bottom. And I realized, sorry guys, our YouTube, I'm kind of neglecting that one. Sorry, YouTube, I'll be more careful. Okay, so what you <laughs> want to do is just rock the tip very gently because you don't want to just force it off, okay? You are going, oh, our finger came off. <laughs> You're going to lightly rock back and forth so you can release the BioSwift under. Do you guys see that? A little, like, fogginess? And voila! It's off. Ooh. So at this point, of course, the free edge isn't perfect. I also noticed I actually do have a little bit of missing product. So that was um, something I could have avoided when I was filling it in. Mm -hmm. I should have put a little bit more. Mm -hmm. But don't you worry because the whole point of tutorials is so you guys know how to fix when you run into issues. So from here, I'm using our 70% alcohol. Our lovely lint-free wipe has really gone through. <laughs> Okay, so we're going to cleanse it with alcohol because there is a tacky layer. And normally at this step, I would be telling you guys to shape it. But, um, Diana, can you sh or Melissa, can you show this side? You guys yeah. see how I missed a little bit here? There's that little bubble. I am not going to shape it because if I do, I am just waiting for a headache. So I'm going to go ahead again and use my product and just fill in a little bit where that needs it. And actually, while I'm doing this, this is a great way, a great time to explain as well. Um, a lot of people that are using BioSwift are finding that the gel itself isn't strong enough with just one layer. So by all means, what you can do is go ahead and do what I'm doing here. Pop off the tip and then apply a second layer. Or if you miss a little bit like I did here, don't hesitate to just go in with more. And um, you can always just use regular builder as well if you want, if you don't want to do a second layer of this. Once you build the extension, uh, you can go ahead and just use a regular builder and apply that over. Okay, so here we are. I'm going to flip over and this is great. If anybody missed it, I can show you how to apply it again. So from the cuticle, I'm just going to lightly go down there you go I can see it's filling out where I missed it okay so let's go in again and cure and while it's curing if anybody has any questions please ask I keep forgetting 
forgetting it's Monday. Um, freehand, no art from Instagram said ever need to use these tips or wherever work. Um, sorry, I don't understand. Yeah. Ever need use these tips or wherever work or whatever works. Uh, with BioStuff, you do need to use the tips that come with the package. If that's sorry, if you don't mind, you can ask again. <laughs> yeah, it's okay. <laughs> Oh, guys, if you're on Facebook, too, don't forget to share this video because at the end of the video when we do our giveaway, for every uh, additional 200 shares, we're actually going to do another prize pack, another winner. And Facebook or Instagram, don't you worry, we have a... Thank you. So remember, once we clear the top, we turn around and do the bottom as well. Bucks246 asks from Instagram, what is the cost of the 4-ounce refill for the Bio Swift? So the regular price of our 4-ounce refill is $60. Um, but if you have a pro account with us, if you have a pro account with us, you can get our Bio Swift gel and our starter pack, which comes with the tips, uh, the form, like the form tips and our brush. <laughs> it's acrobat. Uh, and our brush for uh, everything for $70. So the pro promotion is $70. Beata from Facebook. She wishes this tutorial was in real person. Come to our Toronto Wait, head I office. Think the nail fell. Oh my gosh. <laughs> Alexis. We, <laughs> we needed you. <laughs> okay, don't worry, guys. That should not happen in real life. But <laughs> thank you. I think it already was curing. <laughs> hearts send us hearts for that <laughs> i need to repair my heart is it 60 seconds or 30 seconds uh 60 seconds please nicole from facebook and in the uv lamp it'd be two minutes that'd be two full minutes in a full uv lamp yes if you want um honestly guys if you do it really thick too you want to cure longer because the longer you cure it all it will do is make sure that your product is completely cured and completely hardened i am s tip <laughs> as from instagram how many nails do Thanks, you generally Diana. do at at a time when working on a live client so that will depend definitely on your um, comfort level and your skill level. I would say just to be safe, even if you're like amazing, it's not necessarily you. It's the product itself does not care till you put in the light, right? Mm -hmm. So I would say what we've been telling our clients is do two at most because you don't want to take the risk. But once you do get into the hang of it, like I've done my uh, full set, even with my left hand, guys, and it took me no more, like on my own, start to finish, including polishing, less than an hour. Mm -hmm. So on yourself, it's always a little bit harder too. Because mm -hmm. we advertised, like when it first came out, we said 10 to 15 minutes for a full set. Mm -hmm. So it's definitely doable. But okay, guys, sorry for that little um, kind of delay there since I had some missing gel. But that's good because now you guys know what to do in case that ever happens. When you are ready, you're gonna go ahead again and rock. Oh my gosh, your finger keeps almost falling off. You're just going to rock your form back and forth. And there you go. If we wanna go in the side angle, we can show how perfect the nail is. Absolutely, it's kind of sticky right now, but absolutely no need to sand the top. Look at that, perfect. So it's worth the trouble. I mean, her finger fell off, but I think she's super happy now. <laughs> I'm gonna cleanse it with alcohol and I'm going to polish it for you guys so you can see truly how perfect it is. Here we go. Oh gosh, these fingers, man. You all see how perfect it looks? And pro tip here too, the BioSwift Builder is a little bit less flexible than our original builder. So what you wanna do is don't cut it. Just use your file to shape it down. Sorry, I gotta get in here a little bit. Okay, so I'm gonna hold her finger since it keeps coming off. So from here, I'm just gonna go, it sounds like I'm sawing something. <laughs> I'm just gonna go in and lightly shape the nail. Oh my gosh. Although this table is so big, it's like we're all cramped in one little circle here. 
So from here, all you have to do is shape the free edge. There's no need to sand the top. In the case, the cuticle area, you do find that maybe it's a little bit thicker than you preferred. By all means, you might have to touch it up a little bit, but the most part is once you get really good at it, guys, and you practice, I promise you, this is gonna be so quick and easy to do. Dr. Last Nails on Instagram asked, do you get heat spikes? You do not too much. Um, with sensitive nails, you might feel, oh, you might feel a little bit with our original formula, but you can just ask the client to flash cure. Um, if you know your client right off the bat has thin nails already, you should start with the base coat. Uh, otherwise, our refill size, we've upgraded it to absolutely no heat spikes. So we do apologize for that in advance, but sometimes, um, yeah, sometimes it takes time to upgrade. So thank you guys. Okay, so I'm just shaping it a little more because my second layer, I actually missed a little bit, but that's okay. I'm gonna, after this one, I'm gonna do a fast one of okay. the second one, and then you guys can help answer any questions. Then okay. people can see the real life time because this one I'm taking a lot of time on. Okay, guys, so once you're happy with the shape, which I'm almost happy, it's because I missed a little bit in the right hand corner. Uh, I don't know, Facebook can't really see it, so it looks like I did a perfect job. But this side, I have to be honest with you guys, I missed a little bit, so that's why I'm shaping it down a little bit shorter. Mm. Okay, you know what, just for time's sake, guys, I'm going to go ahead and just paint it so you guys can see how beautiful it is. Okay. okay, so now next step is just use your buffer because it's already perfectly smooth. Um, by all means, if you want to touch it up a little bit, sand it or use your e-file, go ahead. But I am just going to use our buffer to lightly smooth out. It sounds so, is it loud to you guys too? Because this room makes everything mm -hmm. echo. <laughs> okay. We're going to use our dust brush, make sure it's completely even, and we're going to go into the polish. Today's video, I just chose a random pink because it's almost Valentine's Day. Love is in the air. And we're going to use our Unity All-in-One number 240 Rosy. So if you're not too familiar with our polishes yet, uh, our Unity All-in-One line consists of 243 different colors that already have built-in base and top. So when you're doing Unity, you don't need a base coat. So that's why I'm going to show you guys right over top of our BioSwift. We are just going to apply our Unity All-in-One. So I'm going to roll it in my hands upside down to ensure it's all mixed since it has so many beautiful products in one bottle. And then I am going to go ahead and polish, guys. Let me just turn this. Am I plugging a YouTube camera? Is that? Um, I think that's better now. Are you guys okay? If anything, actually, that's fine. Okay, guys. So I apologize. That corner is missing a little bit. Honestly, I practiced so much before the video and I did it perfect. And of course, when it's time to show you guys how awesome I can do it, I get nervous. That's okay, you're doing great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you. So I'm gonna go in now and just apply our Unity All-in-One Gel Polish. And I'm going all the way to the top of where we applied the BioSwift so you guys can see with the color how perfect it is. There's almost, like I didn't do any sanding to the cuticle. So if I wanted, and also I did two layers, so it did make it a little bit higher up there, but you get the point. Mm -hmm. Definitely practice makes perfect. Yeah. And you don't have to tap the free edge because our gel polishes do not, um, our gel polishes do not shrink. So from here, once you're happy with the way it's polished, our gel polishes cure in LED or UV, so you want to cure for 60 seconds. Um, Nilabrakrissi NYC asks, this file sip is so coffeeable. Yes, it is. Yay! Just be sure to use 100% acetone. And because the BioSwift is a builder gel, it's much thicker, you can expect a 10 to 15 minute soak off time. So don't rush the soak off. Uh, Vanessa asked from Facebook, when I do mine, there seems to be a lip or ledge where the free edge is. How do you get it so smooth? Does that mean I'm putting too much in the nail bed area? Okay, Vanessa, do you turn your nail upside down to brush out any excess before you cure it? Because that will fix your problem. Um, 
what happens is when you pre put pressure down on the actual tip onto the nail so that of course it can stick and you can cure it, some excess gel might push out. So what you have to do is turn your hand upside down and just brush out any excess that might have came out. Chelly says, what are the hours at the head office? Can we drop in any time for demos and info? So our office hours are Monday to Friday, 9 to 5. And of course, you can call at any time for any help um, with any questions. And we can help you troubleshoot as well with any product. Um, but we are not uh, currently open for uh, any demos or info. Um, only in our, um, you can always sign up for training with our, um, at our Toronto office in Canada currently. Yes. So thank you, Melissa. Um, if you guys like to like learn, we're more than happy if we're not too busy that day at the office. Call ahead and we can book it. Okay, so guys, right out of the light, this is what our Unity in um, number 240. I'm not even going to put a second coat because I don't want to waste too much time. I want to show you guys another demo of BioSwift. But look, Unity cures to the touch, absolutely no tacky layer. If you put a second coat, it'll be even shinier. But let's show all angles so everyone can see there was absolutely no sanding done to the top. And that's what BioSwift can do. Yay! Ooh, shiny, shiny, shiny. Yeah. <laughs> so guys, um, thank you so much for watching that tutorial. I know that took a long time for one nail, but <laughs> we really wanted to take our time. Um, what I'm going to ask Melissa and Diana to do is just read comments and questions as I do the second finger without stopping so you guys can watch and see the true like speed of it that it can be. Alrighty, yo. So I'm going to get myself all set up here and we will go. Okay. Oh, sorry, Diana. Can you still show it though? Yeah. yeah. Show the steps so everyone can see, but I'm not going to stop. Okay. Okay, guys. If you have questions about what I'm doing, go ahead and ask, but um, I'm not going to talk. So I'll see you guys later. <laughs> <laughs> sorry, Alexis. <laughs> So prep is the first step, guys. Shape the nail, buff, and cleanse with alcohol is all you need. Okay, let that dry. I hope her finger doesn't fall off anymore. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Time to size my tip. So let's look on all angles. This one's slightly smaller on the free edge, so unfortunately I cannot use number six. I have to move up. Uh, let's see what size to get. So size seven is our next size. So this one's slightly larger, just like we asked you to do if it's too small. So looks good to me. Remember, if it's too wide, you can always uh, shape it in. If it's too small, you don't need the steps. So don't do that to yourself. Get a bigger one. No questions yet, guys? Someone said, great job, Helen. Oh, thank you. I do it for you guys. <laughs> and Glenda says, appreciate you taking your time. Mm -hmm. Oh, thank you. We appreciate you guys watching. And thank you, Melissa and Diana, as well, for staying late after work to do this with me. No I gotta make sure YouTube can see or YouTube cannot see. Queen. YouTube, oh. sorry, YouTube, I know that this angle isn't the best, but we have tutorials on our channel, so make sure you watch those as well, please. Next time we'll get a third person so we can record for YouTube. Mm -hmm. Queen Ray XO asks, would you recommend this as nail replacement if a client has a broken nail? Yes, it's great. You don't even have to do a full nail. Like you see how I'm applying like everything. You can even do it if it's just missing a corner. So let's say you're missing the right corner of the nail. Just go ahead and fill the BioSwift in the right corner. But again, if you want it to be completely smooth, I guess you have to do the whole nail. Sorry, got too ahead of myself. Unless you're okay with sanding. If you're okay with sanding, then go ahead and just do the corner. So I saw a little air bubble there. I'm not sure if you guys caught it on camera, but because I saw an air, air bubble, I just used my brush and brushed it out now. Okay, so fill it side to side, good to go. Okay, put it on the nail. 
from the cuticle we're gonna go in a lever motion so how better go sideways Melissa so everyone can see sideways Sideway. yeah so very gently you see how as I'm as I'm pressing you guys you can see on the nail bed it slowly fills out color that's how you know it's not gonna cause any air bubbles it goes from the top all the way to the bottom so YouTube when your when your nail looks like this and it's completely all one color you can take the time to press down if you have to flip upside down so I think Veronica or Vanessa on Facebook for the underside portion what you have to do to in order to make it as smooth as possible clean your brush with some alcohol and flip the hand over before you cure and go ahead and brush out any excess gel on the underside just to make sure that you don't get that extra ledge and if you do get an extra ledge I know the whole point of biosurf is so you don't have to use a drill but I mean practice takes time guys so if you do have a little bit of a ledge you can go in with a drill bit and just kind of even that out okay so we're gonna cheat a little bit if we have to <laughs> rules are made for breaking all right I'm sorry my jokes <laughs> so we're gonna go ahead cure for 60 seconds I think we're sorry 60 seconds is her finger in did yeah. it fall off this time no it's inside now thank you thank you a lot of people are asking why the gel smells like lemons um <laughs> actually we just put lemon essence in it so it smells good <laughs> I'm glad you think it smells like lemons because some people think it smells like other stuff that I cannot say on my video uh, but yeah it um it is lemon it's <laughs> lemon scent because lemon is fresh and good <laughs> so Ashley says Ashley from Facebook says I bought the kit and tried it out on a friend's nails when I applied the tip it didn't want to stay down it kept lifting off yes 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 oh my gosh no I'm sorry my brain <laughs> I had so many like okay make sure you say this make sure you say that but Great question, Ashley. If you find that no matter what you're doing, the nail is still giving you trouble, most likely that means your client has a little bit more of a flat nail bed, which is totally okay. What you have to do, which I'll show you after this is done curing, is you have to put a little bit of the BioSwift Builder on the natural nail first and then place your tip on top. But I will show you so you know exactly what I mean. Thank you guys for watching. <laughs> Yay, I think this timer, does it have, it's only been 60 seconds here so long. When you wait for one finger, it sounds so long. <laughs> yes, Elle, it's so clean. Mm -hmm. Fresh and clean, exactly. No, it's not Mr. Clean, it's Mrs. Clean. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, I don't know if I like touched it twice, but that's definitely been a minute. After you cure the top, you're going to flip the hand upside down and cure oh I hit her hand don't do that what not to do <laughs> don't hit their hand you're gonna cure upside down for another 60 seconds <clears throat> Nicole from Facebook do the tips stay sticky so they will stay sticky until you cleanse it with alcohol so just make sure you have some alcohol handy so your hands don't get all sticky like mine Rhonda Rodriguez on Instagram asks, can you use base gel first? Yes. If you apply base gel first, all it will do is help you um, hold the product even better. For example, if someone has very weak nail beds or very oily nail beds, the base coat is a good route to go. But if you say they have like normal nails, like normal type nails, like you don't see any use for the extra base, you don't have to. Mm. Okay. <laughs> A nurse's nail <laughs> says, oh, we know this is her ring finger. She's not giving us the middle finger. <laughs> okay, guys. So after your 60 seconds on the bottom is finished, you're going to go ahead and lightly swift off the tip. I say lightly because you don't want to pop off everything you just did. So I always just rock it left to right. And can you guys zoom in really close, please? Do you see how it's starting to get cloudy? You see that? That's how you know the product is releasing. So there you go. Let's get a bird's eye view and 360, please, ladies. You guys can see there's no need to sand anything. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, don't zoom anymore, I think. 
don't don't look at the free edge the free edge can be shaped it is the top part of the nail that we are focusing on when you're using bio Swift. the free edge is the easiest place to fix too when you're using like regular sculpting gels and you're trying to build a curve you're trying to smooth out the nail sometimes that can be the toughest part excuse me so from here 70 percent alcohol and also guys i am still going slower i just can't help it i talk a lot so <laughs> We're gonna go ahead, once you clean it with alcohol, we're gonna go ahead and shape the nail. Sorry, it's so loud probably, because it sounds really loud. It sounds like I'm cutting down a tree. A nurse nail says, ask, does it feel hard like plastic when it dries? My brain keeps telling me it looks rubbery. So it is completely hard, not rubbery at all. If it's rubbery, that's a sign that you did not cure long enough. So pop it back in. Queen Ray XO asks, can you use same gel to appear crystals? Great question. The answer honestly um, is yes and no. The reason why I say yes and no is um, you can encapsulate things. So let's say you wanted to put like little sparkles and stuff inside. You can put your Bio Swift product and then your flower like glitters or whatever and then pop it on. But in terms of like just putting it on, no, because it needs the form. So if you're looking for something to encapsulate your, your rhinestones, use our builder gel is the best. And again, guys, I don't know what's wrong with me. I just don't like the right side, I guess, because the right side was shorter than the left. <laughs> so my apologies. I, oops, sorry, Diana. I'm going to go ahead and just shake this one round. Or lipstick. Remember today we saw that? <laughs> yeah. All right, we're, we're making it lipstick shape, guys. Lipstick shape. <laughs> Why is it so loud? Dominique asked, what happens if you use 90 to 99% alcohol? That's all I use. Um, that's no worries. It's just that some people don't like it too drying. But as long as it's 70% or higher, you're good to go. Okay, guys. So just a disclaimer. I know this nail is completely on an angle. I just don't want to waste time shaping because I know you guys all are amazing at shaping. So let's just go in and paint the polish so you guys can see that I did not need to do anything to here. Okay. So here we go. If that does happen though, just like the first nail when I miss a little corner, you can fill out just right here. So just this bottom edge here, you can fill it out to fix the shape. Alcohol, do I say alcohol weird, Amy? <laughs> okay, let's go ahead and do our color. So Unity, where are you? Thank you. We're gonna use number 240 Rosie. Yay, Rosie. Okay, guys, are you ready for the moment of truth? This is how you know BioSwift is so cool. You don't have to put base because it is an extension. Plus, our Unity All-in-One gel does not require it. And it looks like a go. real lipstick. It does. <laughs> mm -hmm. So let's make it look like this. There you go, guys. All done. Anybody have any last minute questions? Because looking at um, the time. Emily, mm -hmm. Carrie said, how do you refill the nails? Great question. So to refill the nails, you have a few options. One, you can soak it all off if you prefer to do a new set. Two, you can sand it down and reapply just a regular builder. Or three, you can sand it down and reapply on your BioSwift forms. So everybody, everybody okay with the refill methods? Jessica says, do you file with the knee file underneath so it's not bumpy? So it's kind of what you are saying earlier about the application. Sometimes earlier Vanessa had asked about at the bottom how it gets like a thicker. It depends uh -huh. on how you brush it out when you're applying mm -hmm. the BioSwift tip. Um, if not applied smoothly, you will have to go in with an e-file to per perfect that um, underneath your nail yeah so we're totally okay if you guys you know give it a little extra help no one's judging you but over practice guys by the time you get um more and more practice i guarantee your bio swift will come out perfect every time like i did 
<laughs> Before the video, I practiced three nails again just to make sure. And like, I'm not just saying this to say this. They were absolutely Are perfect. Oh, thank you. But then now I have a lipstick shape one. Ooh, so yes. here we go. <laughs> yeah. So just like that, guys. Um, this shape isn't perfect yet either. That is that is Swift for you. So thank you for watching the tutorial. If we didn't get a chance to answer your question tonight, uh, feel free to send us a message direct or comment on any of our pictures. We try our best to uh, reply. But what we're gonna do is I'm gonna back the camera up so that we can get into the giveaway. Okay. Let's Yay! Get giveaway. So YouTube again, I'm sorry you did miss the giveaway as this is a live giveaway, but you can always follow us so you can watch next time. Bear with us as we just set, set up the cam. This is the first time we actually did the tutorial in 50 minutes. Good wow. job, guys. Good job. All right. I think it's good. All right. Looks good to me, too. Okay, guys. So now that you've learned how to do BioSwift, we are ready to gift you BioSwift. Who Yay. is ready to win? If you want to win, send us some hearts. Yay! Don't forget to follow us on Instagram, Facebook, <laughs> yes. and subscribe to our YouTube channel. Yes, please. And don't forget to follow our lovely girls as well. They're both brand ambassadors and they work at the head office. So anytime you need help, call us, guys. So uh, Diana's Instagram is Rice Kitty Nails, like Rice Kitty <laughs> Nails. And then Melissa yeah. is Melly, M-E-L-I, Mel, M-E-L-R, yeah. Melly Meller. That's her yeah, nickname. Yay, Kelly yeah. really Miller and Rice Kitty Nails. Yay. Okay, guys, I love seeing those hearts. Let's get a, another few seconds of hearts while I change, clean my hands, and then we'll do the giveaway. <laughs> I'll take a water break real quick. Yeah, that's I a know. great idea. Hold you guys, too, go get it. some water right now. Mm. You know all those like memes that's like, tag your friend to drink water. She's just mm. tag myself. <laughs> yeah, that's what they're saying. Mmm. <laughs> <laughs> Okay, guys, who is ready to win some BioSwift now that you know how to do it? Yay! Yay. Okay, so there are going to be two ways you can win. Because this live video right now, <clears throat> excuse me, <laughs> because this live video right now is both on Facebook and Instagram, we're going to give you guys two chances. So if you are on both platforms, you can enter twice for a double chance to win. Ooh. And we do a picker, picker winner's randomly so if you end up winning two prizes you go you are a lucky ducky so let's show them what they can win tonight melissa so we have the, our full bioswift kit here um okay. the contents in there consists of the bioswift sculpting gel oh yeah our sculpting brush how we're using today the back spatula is to, to pick up the product and then the brush to apply it that she has <laughs> yeah uh -oh. And then Sorry, our BioSwift tips, which are reusable. Um, as we were mentioning earlier, people asked how you would clean them. You would just wipe it with some alcohol to get the best. The uh, low power. Okay. Oh, hang on. Hello. Sorry. Okay. Um, yeah. yeah, so you get the full BioSwift starter kit. Thumbs yeah. up for that. And then you also get our refill size. Oh, yeah. You will never run out of BioSwift. That's true. For a while. For a while. <laughs> And then, last but not least, you're also going to take home our U Light Pro lamp, which comes in a lovely box like this. <laughs> Yay! And this does come with a removal bond tray, so you can use it for petties as well. Mm -hmm. Okay, so we're going to go through the instructions for Instagram first. If you're on Instagram and you would like to win this prize, you have to do a few things. Number one, you have to be following us. Yay. Okay, so follow <laughs> following, up. Follow, following like Bio Seaweed Gel? Yes, follow okay. Bio Seaweed Gel. But if you want us to love you guys even more, follow my two good friends. As well, okay? <laughs> but yes, so follow uh, Bio Seaweed Gel on Instagram. And then the second thing you're going to do is find the picture, which is the second last photo I posted. You're going to see these lovely ladies' faces. You're going to comment below by tagging a friend. And I am going to like write the instructions just for a little bit so mm -hmm. anyone watching on the caption, on the caption yeah. so you guys know. But it's pretty simple guys. Follow us, comment on the uh, Nail Night Live photo, the one with Diana and Melissa's face. You'll find that right <laughs> when you go to our profile after you like our profile, or after you follow us. Um, follow us, tag a friend in the comments in the picture where you see Diana and Melissa's face, and then like three of our photos. 
Once you do that, um, we are going to go ahead and pick a random winner on February 14th and announce it. Okay, guys? So, <laughs> so that is how you win on Instagram. Thank you, Amy. So yes, um, that is Instagram's giveaway. For Facebook's giveaway, we're going to do it a little bit different. What you have to do if you're on Facebook is one, like our page. So like the Bio Seaweed Gel Limited Facebook page. Two, you are going to share this video. And three, you tag a friend in this video. So Facebook is kind of easier because everything is all in this video. Yeah. But on Instagram, I will change the caption again. It's the picture where you see Diana and Melissa's face. But you see anyways, it says Nail Night Live. There's a picture of BioSwift. Mm -hmm. So yeah, maybe I'll say that one more time. Okay, Instagram. Mm -hmm. To enter on Instagram to win our amazing prize pack, I don't even know if you guys can see it oh, in camera now. I don't see it. <laughs> so, um, and this is, by the way, a $220 value. So, woo. Yeah. On Instagram, follow us. Find the picture of Diana Melissa on our profile and comment tagging a friend. And then like three of our photos. On Facebook, what you have to do, it's much easier because it's all in this live video itself. Tag a friend in the comments. Like our page on Facebook and then share this video. And for Facebook, because you can share live videos, we're actually adding um, an additional giveaway for every 200 shares. We're picking another winner. So, um, two winners. Yeah. I, I, I do have to it. say something for disclaimer too. In the case we get a, a lot, a lot of shares, the maximum giveaways we're going to do is 10 winners. So, maximum, we're going to have 10 winners on Facebook. Instagram, we're going to have one lucky winner. But if you guys like giveaways, we do win it Wednesday, every Wednesday. So don't miss out. Mm -hmm. Like right now, actually, the Win It Wednesday on Facebook is BioSwift. That's right. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But yeah, guys, um, does everybody understand the rules on how to enter the giveaway? We'll pick the winners, um, the random winners, on Valentine's Day. So keep your eye out. Is the giveaway open to, like, uh, international? Unfortunately, not at this time. Um, mm -hmm. We are only able to ship to Canada and U.S. So thank you for that question, Diana. Mm -hmm. So the giveaway right now is only open to Canada and U.S. Okay. But yeah, guys, um, that's the giveaway. I'll change the caption just for, like, maybe an hour. So if you're, like, really looking for the post and you can't find it. But we always like to make our Nail Night Lives, like, exclusive for people that actually spent a whole hour listening to me ramble on and on. <laughs> so, yeah, that's the giveaway, guys. If you have any questions, you can DM us and we can explain. Um, but before we go, we do have a secret surprise that I'm sure you guys, a lot of you have been calling and messaging us, and we wanted to give you an insight um, while we're on live together. Yeah. So don't mind my mess here. Like closer? Oh, yeah, Just would you like please? Her. Okay, guys. Um, as you know, or even if you don't know, we are coming out with a brand new product called Bio Air. Um, Melissa's wearing it on her nails right now. Um, Bio Air is mm -hmm. our new air dry gel polish. Oh, it nice. is not mm -hmm. available yet, but very soon, and I know you guys are like, soon, what does soon mean? Soon <laughs> means soon, I promise you guys. <laughs> mm -hmm. So keep your eyes out for this. Um, but yeah, so Bio Air, it's a one coat. Also. Yeah, do you wanna go up closer? Cause, yeah, um, show some more. We actually only have an hour on Instagram Live, it counts down, so we have a minute and a half remaining, guys. Perfect timing tonight. Here's some So Bio Air is on the here. way. Well, actually, we have a, all the products here, guys. I'm not going to lie. <laughs> we have everything ready. We just haven't launched it yet. But we are going to launch it very, very soon. Mm -hmm. um, but this is Bio Air. No, no need for uh, primers or bonders. It does have a base and a top, which you need to use. But it's a one-coat coverage. And it's available in all of these beautiful 60 shades. So keep your eye out for this, Bio Air. If you want to be put on the wait list for uh, first dibs when it is available, just call or email us. But with the last minute remaining, guys, I wanted to take the time to say thank you so much again for tuning in. I hope you guys got some tips and tricks on Bio Swift. And if you need more help, feel free to contact us. Yay. Yay. And thank you, ladies, again so yeah, much. Thank you so much for having me. Thanks, everybody, for watching. Yeah. yeah, guys, I think there's... 45 seconds left on Instagram. Facebook doesn't stop you. Like, Facebook, thank you. But <laughs> Instagram, what the fuck? What's going on, yeah. going on Instagram? Yeah. Mm -hmm. But, yeah, guys, thank you so much for tuning in. Um, we will see you next time. Bye. Bye.
Don't forget to enjoy the giveaway. And if you have Facebook and Instagram, that's your own call. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you guys for watching. Thank you for all the loves. Love. All, all the, the love. All the hearts. Yeah, yeah. hearts and likes. Yeah. Mm -hmm. From my heart to yours, namaste. <laughs> But guys, I think it's gonna end like right now on Instagram. Should I refresh it? Yeah. Okay, or we can just let it run. It's five <laughs> yeah. seconds. Bye, Instagram! Bye! Bye! At the top. But don't delete it. Press share. Oh, okay. Thank you. Just okay, share. guys. Yay. So, Facebook, we can say goodbye to you guys now as well. <laughs> Thank you so much for watching. We hope you enjoyed this episode Nail It Live. It's actually the first time we've done it live stream on Facebook. So thank you for being patient and for uh, feedback because a lot of people on Facebook actually asked if we can do it on Facebook because, you know, some people don't use different it's, social yeah, medias. Yeah. But, yeah, thank you guys so much for watching. Don't forget to share, share this video because the more you share, the more chances for winners. But until next time, I will let you go. Bye. I miss you guys already. Yeah. Good night. Bye. <laughs> <laughs> and then uh youtube thank you so much for bearing with us i do apologize for the uh lack of good angles but i promise you next time we do a uh, live tutorial i will try my best to not only go live on youtube next time but to have better angles for you guys so thank you so much for watching don't forget to subscribe to our channel and to follow us on social media so you can be um in the live segment and then you have a chance to win but even if you didn't have the chance to watch this live as mentioned we do win it wednesdays every wednesday so please do join us and until next time guys see ya bye, bye. thank bye. you <laughs>